Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and what's going down? It's the Dizzy One here, and it has been a while, but it is good to be back. We are doing yet another NBA 2K17 Legends My League Fantasy Draft, and we're gonna be the Miami Heat just because I like their uniform options. They have a lot of different unique and cool uniforms to choose from, and we're gonna be doing this for fun, pretty much, since we've already done this. This is our second time through the the my league situation so we're gonna have draft order on we're gonna select first we're gonna have it fixed instead of serpentine if you don't know what that means basically we're gonna have the first overall pick in every round instead of going from first to 30th first to 30th back and forth we have it fixed so we'll have the first pick every round no matter what and we also have custom players created players baby let's go we got david zerbo sugar ray ray and joe Blivius, just to name a few already on the screen now, I always get picked third no matter what behind LeBron James and Magic Johnson normally, but Magic went all the way to seventh. What in the world? But normally, I, I, I get picked late, right at the third spot. So, since it's my league, I'm going to pick myself number one overall. And to top it all off, I'm going to go ahead and get another created player. And normally, that's not good for thumbnails because nobody knows who these created players are. But I'm going to get another one. I don't care. I'm not in it for the views. I'm in it for the fun. Let's get Caleb Depogi. And as you can see, this guy is an offensive juggernaut. Now, also, these created players are not all the same. They're not all good at the, at the, at the same things, pretty much. They are different players. Caleb Depogi, he's an offensive juggernaut. He plays like a shooting guard. But at that power forward position, he's not strong defensively down low. He's not strong defensively in his post game per se. You know, that's just how I built Caleb the Puggy. And there's other guys who can be strong down low, like Joshua Manchild, Joe Bolivius. But I wanted Caleb the Puggy just because I want that three point shooting ability. We also got John Wall because, hey, John Wall can guard anybody. Any point guard, any shooting guard, almost any shooting guard in the league, except Magic Johnson, pretty much. But we're going to get guys who can contain Magic. That's the that's the plan. Now we're going to go ahead and get the Andre Jordan in the fourth round, just because we already had a season with Hassan Whiteside. And I don't really like Rudy Gobert, even though he is technically better. I'm a Clippers fan. I'm a Clippers fan. <laughs> so we're going to get DeAndre Jordan. He's going to be a monster defensively, and he's going to grab those boards for us. He's not ball dominant. We already have three very ball dominant guards, or not guards, but ball dominant players. So yeah, DeAndre Jordan is going to fit in well, not needing the ball on our offense. I was going to get Mitch Richmond, decided not to go with Mitch because Tracy McGrady in the long run is going to be a lot better than Mitch. No slight to Mitch Richmond, but Tracy McGrady before his injuries was on another planet just totally insane let's go ahead and get miles turner in the sixth round because we do want that center and normally i ignore my centers till it's too late and it doesn't work out for me but i'm gonna go ahead and get miles right there and then i saw scotty pippity ippity ippin all the way in the seventh round and this changed my outlook drastically we're gonna be putting scotty at our starting shooting guard position to guard the michael jordans the Kobe Bryants, the Vince Carters of the world. That is going to be the goal that Scottie Pippen will do for us. We're going to be putting Tracy McGrady as our sixth man, and he's going to be scoring off that bench like crazy. That's going to be his goal, his job for us. So that's the whole plan for it. Nick Anderson, we already got Terry Porter. I did want D'Angelo Russell, but hey, uh, you don't get everything you want. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be the last notable pick for us. Now, with that being said, here's some other guys. I was going through free agency and I thought I was recording, but it turned out that the recording stopped for some reason. So the guys that I did get was Mo Spates. Got that guy just because, hey, let's get Mo Spates. He's a great shooter. And we got him for like three million, I do believe, on a one-year contract. And we also got Sam Perkins in free agency for the veteran minimum, just in case Anthony Randolph, our backup power forward, doesn't work out for us. We have a couple of options. now. With that being said, I want to talk about how I want this series to go. Now, I want this series to be more of a cinematic type of series. I want this series to stand out as opposed to other YouTubers on this platform. This is going to be me basically acting like a GM. I'm not going to be playing in any of the games. I'm not going to be simulating it like how other GM situations go. I'm going to be having all the games watched and played 
but I'm not going to be controlling the players. I'm basically just going to be watching and I'm going to be commentating on it just like I normally do, but I want this to be more of a cinematographically, <laughs> a cinemata, cinema, cine, cinematography. I want this to be cinematography. So I'm going to be trying out different angles and different kind of editing techniques to make this series stand out. And that's going to be the plan. And if you want to go ahead and see how the teams are stacking up, you can pause it just to see and maybe put it down in the comment section who you think will be in the finals. But with that being said, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you're interested to see how the series plays out. Because I'm excited and if we do get enough momentum going, when 2K18 comes out, we'll get 2K18 and we'll play 2K18. But when 2K18 comes out, we probably might even do a season two of this just to see how it goes down the line because I really like how 2K17 feels. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Adios.